Coming up on this week's show, we get to know more about yet another staff member in 60 seconds. This week, get ready to learn about Mr. Mackinder. Take a look at a special kind of class here at South Elgin. Hear a word from Yoga Club. See what Little Shop of Horrors is all about, as well as check out what happened in sports. All that and more coming up, so stay tuned because Friday Lightning starts right, right now. now. Hello and how's it going everyone? I hope you're all still feeling fresh from this four day week. I'm Daryl Barnes. And I'm Olivia Deem. And last week we started things off by talking to Mr. Spinowski. And in this week's lightning round, Olivia Howell talks to one of Mr. Spinowski's best friends, Mr. Mackinder. Let's check it out. Thanks guys, Olivia Howell here back with another week of lightning rounds. I'm with Mr. Mackinder, a history teacher. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, how long have you been teaching? 16 years. What made you want to become a history teacher? Uh, I knew I wanted to do something um, to improve the community. And uh, when I did some peer tutoring in high school, uh, I got into it that way. Who is your peer tutor in high school? I peer, I peer tutored other kids in high school, and, and uh, I thought I got pretty good at it. So that's something I could make a career out of. Awesome. And have you ever coached before? I have 16 seasons. What did you coach? Basketball, track, and football. Do you have a favorite TV show? Um, that would be uh, Game of Thrones. Nice. How long have you been watching Game of Thrones? Uh, five, six seasons worth. I'm almost done. So. Are you excited for it to be over? Uh, yeah. Well, it's over now, but I just have to get caught up. But I've been watching it for a while. There you go. And do you believe in ghosts? I do. All right, and that's all the time we have for today. I just have one last question for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, who would you like to nominate for next week's round? <sighs> Mr. Eklund would be amazing. Awesome. All right, we'll see you next week with Mr. Eklund. I'm Olivia Howell. Goodbye. Moving on, we're taking it a little back into the archives. Here's a package that our very own Graham Hunt has been working on for a while. Get ready to learn about South Elgin's restaurant class. The restaurant class that we have here at South Elgin High School is the um, fourth year of our uh, class of our culinary, our culinary arts program. Our students are in class two hours a day. They learn general curriculum, but then they also run our uh, restaurant here at school called the Rainy Day Cafe. As part of that, uh, they serve lunch on many Tuesdays and Thursdays throughout the semester to faculty, staff, and uh, a lot of parents are coming in this year to partake in what their kids are making. So we serve on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we prep on Mondays and Wednesdays. So on those days, students come to class. They're given the recipe, jobs that they need to get accomplished during that day. Um, by the end of the day, everything needs to be done, ready to go, prepped, um, put in the cooler or the freezer, and their kitchen stations cleaned up so that it's ready to go for the next day. So in the future, um, several of my students have expressed interest in becoming a chef or a pastry chef, so uh, many will go on to a school where that will happen. But having background knowledge in culinary arts leads to a lot of other kinds of job opportunities as well. You could work as a sales rep for a food company. Um, a lot of my students have gone on into the hospitality area uh, where they're not necessarily working in the back of the house, but they're working with a restaurant or a restaurant conglomerate. So they need to have an understanding of how the whole restaurant functions so that they can do their job better. Now that was good, but Graham's also been working extra hard for us lately and was actually able to get us two stories. So for the second time, we're kicking things over to Graham and this time for a promo on the upcoming play.
with such a major accomplishment, I'm sure that you've all heard that Varsity Cheer Team just won state. Make sure to join us in congratulating them if you know any cheerleaders or if you haven't already. And for now, let's enjoy this Sports Week in Review. I'm Anna Winterhalder. And I'm Danielle Kucharski, and this is our Sports Week in Review. A couple weeks ago, our boys varsity swim team went to conference, and they got second place. We had a couple of records broken by the team, and tomorrow, they're at sectionals at St. Charles D's. The girls bowling team had a historical weekend. They got fourth place as a team at sectionals. They will be going to state this weekend. Good luck, ladies. Last week, our boys varsity wrestling team went to sectionals and had four guys compete. Michael Roth got second place at the 220 weight class and he will be competing at state this week at the University of Illinois. Our varsity boys basketball team is starting to wrap up their season. Tonight is senior night for them and they're looking to have a good run in the playoffs. The girls varsity basketball season has come to an end. Tuesday, they had their last game against Cary Grove, and they fell just short of repeating last year's regional championship title. Yesterday, they had four girls participate in the three-point contest, with two of them being the top three-point shooters in school's history, Megan McClure and Ella Winterhalder. With all of our winter sports coming to a close, we're looking ahead to our spring sports. Make sure you're registered. I'm Anna Winterhalder. I'm Danielle Kucharski, and this was our Sports Week in Review. This is video of what students consider the greatest powder puff tumbling pass in South Elgin High School history. Three years ago, the guys behind this were the talk of the pep rally, but now they're a large reason why the storm are the talk of not just the town, but the entire state. Powder puff was just something like at the beginning of freshman year, like I wasn't really involved with the school, so it was just like. Tristan hit me up, he was like, hey, let's do this, let's do Powder Puff. From Powder Puff, obviously it's a joke, it's not really meant to be serious, it's just like a bunch of guys like like doing whatever they want, but. Yeah, after we were like, dang, that was pretty fun, and then like everyone from the cheer team was trying to like recruit us, and then finally, last year, it finally happened, I joined the cheer team, and so did Tristan. But they didn't just join the team. Both would go on to become all-conference selections, and Coach Savannah Bennett feels that they were two of the cogs that made this year's team go. Truthfully, I, I have to say everyone, thankfully, is a leader, but our main leaders would have to be Abby Greco, TJ Ramos, Tristan Cruz. They are the ones that are most vocal, that really lead the team, that get the kids in check, and just make sure everyone's doing their job and doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And when listening to them talk about what changed from last year's fourth place state finish to this year's win, you can see why Coach Bennett feels this way. The seniors and I, and really everyone on the team, really switched around our attitudes and we put in the work. And when Sav told us to do extra reps, we weren't all getting mad at it. We realized that it was an opportunity to improve ourselves so that when the time came, we would be winners. Everyone was just always on the same page and we had like a bond that no other South Elgin cheer team has ever had before. Probably the most ironic part of this whole entire story is that Tristan's mom posted this the night before TJ and Tristan's Powder Puff debut. With them turning out to be state champions, things could have gone a lot worse for this backup plan. Reporting from South Elgin High School and for The Current, I'm Daryl Barnes. Well, moving on from one fast thing to another, it's time to talk about your heart. The heart beats about 100,000 times in one day and about 35 million times in a year. At this rate, in an average lifetime, the human heart will beat more than 2.5 billion times. With an overworked and unhealthy heart, there's a higher risk for heart disease, which is extremely harmful to one's life. South Elgin High School has paired up with the American Heart Association, raising awareness for heart disease and making sure that we, as a community, are taking care of ourselves to avoid heart disease. Several weeks ago, the American Heart Association gave presentations to all the gym and health classes, inviting SEHS to participate in the American Heart Challenge. The goal is to educate students on living a heart-healthy lifestyle and inspire students to engage in the mission of the American Heart Association, as well as allowing them to experience fun physical activity at school. Students were challenged to not vape, to drink water instead of sugary drinks, or to exercise for 60 minutes a day. There were other opportunities to collect donations by buying t-shirts, socks, or wristbands. In total, South Elgin has raised $1,640, crushing our goal of $1,500. Make sure you wear red at tonight's basketball game to celebrate our accomplishment. At halftime, there's a jump rope competition and other fun activities with the American Heart Association. And by participating, you have the chance to win prom tickets and gift cards. So make sure you come out and support. Now that we've got your heart pumping, or at least conscious about your heartbeat, now we think it's a good idea to let you know about an outlet here at school to de-stress. 
So enjoy this message from Mrs. Habeka in Yoga Club. I'm Ms. Habeka. I'm a school social worker here at South Elgin High School. Yoga Club is for staff members and students. It's uh, an opportunity to not only just practice yoga, like the physical parts of it, but we also do some meditation. We do some breathing exercise. It's a good um, mind clearer and it's a good way to focus, but it's also a, a pretty decent workout. We get a good sweat on some days, some days. In the very beginning, we do some breathing and some body awareness, and then we move into the asanas, like which is like the physical part. And it's not just a good stretch, but there's a lot of strength involved in yoga. And then at the very end, we do another, like a body scan to bring yourself back, like just to kind of cool yourself down. People should attend because it's a great way, again, to clear out your mind, but also to sort of get back inside your body. I think through so many different like technological things and in school you're so distracted, it's a good way to come home to your own self. And again, it's a good physical activity too, so it's another, like on several levels, there's good opportunities, yeah. Every Tuesday at about 3.10 in the afternoon and it goes till about 4 o'clock and we meet in the library upstairs, which is a beautiful space to meet in. And that's about all the time we have for you guys this week, so it's time to wrap things up and send you on your way. Thanks for tuning into this edition of Friday Lightning. Don't forget to send us feedback or suggestions to SEHSFridayLightning at gmail.com. For Friday Lightning, I'm Olivia Deem. And I'm Daryl Barnes. We'll see you guys next week. And until then, have a happy Friday and a cheerful weekend.